back with another video if you are new to my channel what's up homegirl what's up homeboy welcome i hope you like the content that i'm giving you and honestly let's just get right into this this video so this video is basically going to be a review on um, first impressions all of that uh, basically on these new products by rihanna Fenty beauty and i've been you know i've been waiting because she released it well she she talked she's been talking about it for a minute and i'm like okay we're gonna the people want it like in my eyes honestly rihanna can do no wrong so i might be a little biased now i'm just playing i'm gonna be real with y'all for this tutorial but um i purchased a quite like a good decent amount of um products so i got um the fenty beauty primer I also got the Fenty Beauty. Um, this is her foundation. It's a soft matte. It's a soft matte foundation. And I got the shade um, 450. And I wear 360 in Maybelline Fit Me. I know everybody uses Maybelline Fit Me. So I wanted to make sure that I referenced that. And honestly, I swatched this in the store. Let me tell y'all something before I even continue to go. I saw, um, I bought this stuff online. I woke up at 3 to buy it, but then I went back to sleep. And then I woke up at 10. Everything was still on the website. So Rihanna is fully stocked. She was ready for this because she knew that Jay was coming for it. So when I, um, I was impatient, so I just went to Sephora. They literally had the same thing. So I ordered everything. I, I picked up everything in store. So like I said, I'm 360 and Maybelline fit me. So then I um, was going to just get two, one to contour and one to highlight. And these are the um the matchsticks but i just ended up getting like a trio and they're magnetic which is kind of cool so this is what they look like and basically oh it says fancy beauty in the front but basically it's for me to highlight and contour but i think you can kind of use them as found um not foundations but you probably could if you wanted to so this shade right here this is my highlight shade and that's in suede so this was the deep kit, I believe, because it was a trio for um, my contour is espresso. And then it came with this shimmer um, stick, which is in cinnamon. And it looks like this. And I'm not really into swatching just because you can kind of see how everything looks on my skin. And then I also um, got the Trophy Wife highlighter, which was fire like i swatched it um and even the girl who was in sephora who was trying to who was helping me out with some different things she had it on her skin so and she was a she was fair so it was pretty um diverse i feel like this is a very um inclusive line just because rihanna has released 40 shades of foundation and the, the palest shade is honestly for people who have albinism and honestly i never thought about what shades people with um who have al who are albino wear and then i also got the um the lip gloss i will say i did swatch a few of the shades in the store i swatched about four of them which were in my spectrum of you know brown um when i kind of got towards the darker shades it did seem like um one of them was a bit too red but what i do like about this line is that rihanna decided to make them um like cool and um warm shades just because i have super cool skin so sometimes and i'm gonna since i'm talking i might as well start applying the makeup so this is the fenty beauty primer and i'll put all of the specs um about what this primer does oh it's super soft mm. it goes on like lotion in a sense but um what i really liked about that is that rihanna decided to um make all of those shades but one of like i was saying that in having different undertones because oftentimes people do not cater to the different undertones because some sometimes i um have to mix foundations or i play around with different um prime not primers but different other foundations just because the undertones may not you know match my undertones so basically with this primer it's supposed to be mattifying without that silicone feel it does have a um It feels water-based and it doesn't feel like it has oils like i said it did go on as a lotion and it's that's a very nice primer like i like smashbox primer but that just went on really nice and it feels like it's gonna have my 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 um you know my stuff in place but before i even apply i might go out tonight or i might try to sweat a little bit i'm gonna set my um no i'm actually not gonna set it. i was just gonna think about setting it but it says it's mattifying so i want to make sure that it is mattifying so i'm gonna put a little bit extra on my nose just because my nose is really where I get oily and then I crease right here too, so. Okay, so I kind of let my primer 
you know, stick. And it's not really giving me ghostly looking vibes. I feel like it's very soft. I like the feel of the primer, it's comfortable. So now I'm taking the Fenty Beauty. Um, it's the Pro Filter Foundation. It's supposed to be soft matte longwear foundation. They have 40 shades. The website is actually very helpful because it does, um, Rihanna shows you like, it's called Shade Matcher and basically, or Shade Finder, and you really can kind of tell like what foundation is for you. But basically, I'll leave all the specs about the foundation. Um, I did watch a few, um, not a few, but I watched one girl's, um, her video today and she was saying she used about two pumps but she did like how um she applied it with a beauty blender and she said it was it was better then but i don't know why but i personally like to apply my foundation with a brush so that's what i'm gonna do so that's that's four pumps already and i just got pretty much the base of my, not the base of my face but So already I can see that it's it doesn't seem like it's my shade, but I don't know yet. I did watch this one girl's tutorial and she said it was at oxidize it. But it really blends into the skin really um really smooth. Like I like that. That's cute. So this particular one, maybe I'm used to my foundation kind of not being my foundation or let me know if you all think that this is a bit red on the red side for me. If I look like a Oompa Loompa, be honest <laughs> with me. But I'm not even gonna lie, like I like the color, like it looks true to my color. And by the time I put on my concealer and everything, I feel like it'll all come together. But um, people did say that it oxidizes. This is really good though, like this is good foundation. It's skin-like, it's not, it don't feel cakey. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like that at all. It just feels lightweight, but it's getting the job done. I like this. Okay, Rihanna. I like it. Let me know how y'all think the color looks on me. Like, do y'all think this is my color? I really feel like it's a, a, a good match. Like, it's my neck and my chest and all of that are usually not the same color. But this really looks me. With a, just a, a hint of more warmness than I typically go for. Okay, so next it's time to highlight, and this is the matchstick, and like I said, in suede. And typically when I do my highlights um, and contour um, for highlight shades, I, I use LA Girl Pro Concealer and I use the shade Toast. And then to contour, I use the shade Mahogany, but Mahogany is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna kind of put this in the places that I typically do my highlight. All right, so that was pretty like easy to glide on. Um, the girl in Sephora was telling me she thinks they're similar to the Anastasia. I haven't used them, so I'm not sure, but they did go on pretty creamy and smooth. So I'm just gonna be blending it out with my um, Real Technique sponge. Okay, so as you guys can see, that blended out really smoothly. It's very natural and very skin-like. I don't like to do too dramatic um, like highlights just because that's just not really the look that I like to go for, but I like how this looks. It was it blended really smooth. This is actually my first time kind of using like a stick to use foundation just because like I said, I do use um, the LA Girl Pro Concealers, but this was actually, I like that. that was, it was pretty smooth. So I'm going to set that with my Sasha Buttercup um setting powder just to kind of brighten up the area just because it is that color was kind of it's the suede was kind of cool and i just kind of like a yellowish um like brightener but i do like how it looks it looks very natural and very skin like okay now i'm going to take espresso and kind of contour 
I don't really contour too much, but maybe like here to kind of give me a chiseled look and a little bit under here. I don't do the contour on my nose. I might warm it up with my powder, my face contour, like my powder compact contour, but I don't really go in with a foundation stick. That literally just melted into my skin. That's beautiful. I really like that contour shade. It's very rich and warm. Like, I've never had a contour that kind of looks like this. Like, sometimes, like I said, I use the, I don't, I stopped using the LA Girl because it was so like ashy. It didn't really do my skin any justice, but this really warms up my skin and gives me a chiseled look without looking dead. So, yeah, I'm gonna, this is, it blends out just like the, the other one so i really like that i'm gonna blend it out just a little bit more with my stippling brush just to make sure that my contour doesn't look too much you know y'all have seen people and they be looking crazy very drag queen-esque on an everyday so that's not really what i'm into so i'm gonna just make sure i have double ins insurance and kind of blend out with the stippling brush but i really like it it's very rich and it's very warm Okay, and so to set that in place, I'm going to use my um, Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder, and this is in the shade Ebony. And it wouldn't be a tutorial with me if I didn't use this bad boy right here. So this is the CoverGirl Queen Collection Bronzer. And I just know that this is going to be a great, like this shade, the um, espresso shade, and this is gonna just be a good combination because they're both so rich. And they kind of have, that one kind of has some red and warm undertone. So I'm gonna just put that in all the places that I put the contour. And to give me an even more chiseled look, I'm going to clean up the contour with some more Sasha Buttercup. That's snatched, that's really snatched, like. So to wipe off any um, the excess powder and kind of to set my face, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Infallible. All right, so to bring my skin back to life, I guess you can say, cause usually when I use a setting powder, my skin kinda, it kinda dries out. That's just the type of skin I have. Any type of foundation that I use, anything that I use, if I, once I put the setting powder on, that's what happens. So to bring that back to life, I'm just taking one of my favorite sprays, which is the Pixie um, Rose Water, like fixing, makeup fixing mix, I don't know. I like all of them, so I'm just gonna spritz that all over me. And then I like to always spritz my face to kinda before I do my highlighter, just so that it has a little bit more to stick to. It kind of makes my highlighter glow a little bit more. Alrighty, so now I'm going to be taking Trophy Wife, which is basically this beautiful um, gold. And I'm using it on a fan brush. Oh my god, this shit about to blind me. Whoa, Rihanna, that's a lot. That's a lot. I don't, wow. I'm going to blend, blend it out with something else. Hold on. It's a lot. It goes on a lot, but it blends out really nicely. That's pretty. Oh, okay, Rihanna. You might have did something with that. Yeah, so that could be intimidating for, for the average person because I used to do my highlight really bad. It used to take up all of my face. <laughs> so with this, you want to make sure that you're blending that out right, but that's very pretty. Wow. Yeah, that's cute. This is not an everyday highlighter like at all, but it's cute. Like that's different. 
it's not your regular warm gold like this is really gonna like throw the people off they gonna be like girl where the fuck you going you gonna be like somewhere but that's cute Reed. you did that you did that sis okay all right i like that i want actually i want more Okay, so personally, I don't know because I usually do highlight on my nose and the bridge of my, like, my cupid's bow. I don't know how I would feel about this type of highlight on that place. So, I mean, I like it here. Definitely. Definitely like it there. That's, that's really popping. But I don't know about that on my nose. So, I'm actually going to use the, um, well, let me see. I'm going to swatch this to see if this is the type of look that I'm going to go for. But maybe I should just complete the whole look. But I want to show y'all what the, this, um, the cinnamon stick looks like. I'm gonna just swatch it on my wrist. Mm. I don't know how I feel about that color. I think this is something that you can probably use on a lid. It's a bit basic for me. So I'm actually, I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna just go and put Trophy Wife where I usually put my highlighter. Wow, that's sickening. That's sickening. That's cute. I'm here for it. So before I put on the lip gloss, I'm just going to use a shade that I think is pretty close to it, which is Taupe by MAC. One of my favorite lipsticks. Pretty much a perfect nude for chocolate girls. So this is the lip that I'm going to prepare before I put the lip gloss on. I wore the lip gloss like once I was at, I left Sephora. I left the Sephora at three. And then I put the lip gloss on immediately when I got in the car. And literally, I had that on till like 4, 4.45. It was still, like, it was super moisturizing. So I think I already, I already like the lip gloss. And it's not doing the most. It's like light, like clear with a pop of, um, of pink and a little bit of glitter. Okay, so and to set my entire face, I'm just going to use the Scandinavia. I have no words. I'm shook because we don't know what what did you do. This is literally beautiful. Honestly, I have no complaints at all. Honest, everything blended really well. I really like um, the found. I really like the primer just because it didn't seem. It's not silicone-y, so it didn't give that like sticky drying, you know, that feeling. I personally like that sometimes in a primer. However, I know a lot of people don't. I feel like if I, if I shine through, it won't be a lot just because this, it felt like a lotion, but it still felt like it had a, a nice, not firm, but it had a, a good base to it. Um, with the foundation, this was good. Like, I felt like when I first put it on, I was a little scared. I thought it was a bit too orange so i didn't think that it was gonna kind of like be my skin tone but like i did mention a lot of times or oftentimes whenever i do use a foundation it's not really my skin tone if that makes sense i kind of have to dibble and dabble and mix with colors and different you know when i do my concealer just to kind of get my true color but i really do feel like this is my true color let me know what you all think down in the comments below let me know how y'all feel like the, the color looks you know underneath this light and x y and z but personally i like it it blended out very nice it didn't have a a sticky feeling it just felt like it's, it it looks skin like when i blended it out um not necessarily it's full coverage but it doesn't look cakey and like obnoxious like okay girl you have on foundation it doesn't seem like it's going to it's not heavy on my skin it was very lightweight so i definitely like that about the foundation when it did come to the the, the little trio the um the highlight and the contour like i said i'm not really accustomed to using a um stick when it comes to highlighting and i really actually did enjoy it i typically like the liquid feel but that can begin to be cakey and it can also take a long time to blend out because it's so thick 
and then it's it just you know that runs to a whole different you know problem but because i'm accustomed to that but i actually did like the turnout of this these were not chalky it wasn't hard to blend it didn't take me a long time to blend and it blended very nicely and very subtly into my skin giving me like i said like the foundation is extremely skin like it doesn't look like okay girl you have on makeup and then it did look really nice on top with the um sasha buttercup and then i did like the um the the contour this is the matchstick in espresso it's very rich it's very warm it's not the traditional you know when we get into darker people and have into contours oftentimes it kind of looks really gray and it's too 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 cool and then it doesn't look like it's doing anything for our skin or doesn't even look like we're contouring and even with me and i'm not even the darkest person in the spectrum sometimes me contouring i just i've kind of hung it up and just really stuck to bronzing but i really do like the the contour look that i got because it's not super dramatic to where it looks like I'm a drag queen but it looks like it's enough like okay she looks chiseled um I'm not too sure how I felt about the cinnamon the stick that came in the the the, the trio with the um the highlight and contour shade just because I really don't know what I would it looks like a grandma color I'm not even gonna try to shade Rihanna or nothing it doesn't I don't really personally know what I would use with it so if you guys kind of have any um and this is how it looks again for those who didn't see or if you saw and forgot I just don't really know what I would do with that personally. It looks like it would be something, I don't know. So let me know what y'all would do with this. I'm not too sure, but it's a nice color and it seems um, good on the skin. But when it comes to highlighters, I don't know if I would tip, you know, use this for highlighters just because I like to go for a gold look. Um, trophy wife. Rihanna want me to blind bitches, honestly. She really does because this right here is it's literally sickening. It's not the traditional highlighter that I use. I used to I usually use gold deposit, which is a very warm gold shade, and this is like not your traditional gold. Like this looks like I'm going to a party, but I can honestly get away with looking like this on a I'm not gonna say I mean I personally because I'm I can be extra I can go for this for an everyday look but if you're not that type of girl you know that's okay but you can be this girl this girl can be you so you could go with this every day or every other day or every, the days that you do like to feel special but it's a really nice highlighter I thought it was gonna be kind of extra just because it was a lot I saw Alyssa Ashley she posted on her snapchat of her using it and it was like OD and even at Rihanna at her launch she was wearing this but this is bomb like who thinks of a hot to go with the highlighter this popping it's popping like i put it you see me putting it here just because i'm trying to be trying to be glowy rihanna know i like to glow honestly i should nobody should have ever in, invented highlighter just because i love highlighter so much but i was a little intimidated to put it on my um nose and then my cupid's bow but it honestly it brought the whole look together and then i put a little bit on my eyebrow i like to glow like that's my thing even from summer to winter that's what I like to do I like to glow so this will definitely be a staple this might have to be one of my favorite um products from the entire line I love everything but this highlighter is sickening it's literally we're not worthy of this highlighter and then lastly the um lip gloss I did top it I used the um the mac taupe and then I put it on there just because they're so good I like this you can wear this lip gloss by itself I did but personally I feel like my lips are a little dark so I like to wear a lipstick and then a a lip gloss i don't really like clear lip gloss or like pinky lip gloss because you can still kind of see my color my lip color through but i really like this um I, like i said i wore it for like an hour and it was still on it was still moisturized and it was still popping so i don't know who told rihanna that she could do this but i'm shook and i really love the entire line i definitely would say if you can go into a sephora and see you know just try the different products out see what you like see if you like the foundation see what shades work best for you um you know you don't necessarily have to trust the people in sephora to match you you can try to do that yourself because rihanna has all the shades she has 40 shades from pale to really really dark so you can kind of you know dibble and dabble and see what products work best for you but i definitely think that um I mean, I won't necessarily say that the, the primer is a necessity, but definitely play around with the foundations, play around with the matchsticks, get the lip gloss because it's popping. And as far as price, it was pretty affordable. Um, You know, sometimes people spend, you know, damn near $50 or NARS. So support a sister and support Rihanna because she gave us umbrella and she gave us Fenty Beauty. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, you know, tutorial review, first impressions, all of that in one. I'm very, I'm thoroughly pleased with the entire line. I like 
what she's given us and I want some more. So thank you all so much so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And you know, let's get some conversation generated in the comments below. So I will see you all in the next one and I hope you all have a great day.